I started an online business and I grew the thing for eight years and, and, and it was a painful eight years. Uh, we ended up doing pretty good. We ended up selling it. We made millions of dollars. And that's awesome. But the price we paid along the way and the learning tuitions that I wish I would have known was absolutely crazy. And so like you, I was the same way. I was a person that had dreams and I had desires of like creating freedom in my life. And I was looking to go through like the doorway of success and always hoping to get there. And so I did what a lot of us do is I just search online. I watch videos like this and I was watching YouTube. I remember watching a Tony Robbins video that led me to another person. And then I ended up finding myself going down what we call to Guruville. And so our guru here, every single one of the gurus, whether that's in marketing or sales or lead funnels or uh, evergreen conversions or uh, it's high ticket items or being a funnel away or whatever the different guru is that you listen to, they all have an answer. Every single one of them have an answer and they have a way of saying that this is what works. And so I would go listen to one, follow their advice and do it. But then I would get to different points in my business and go, well, that kind of worked for me, but this didn't work. And I was just, I was going like, what, what's the bigger answer here? What's happening here? What I found was in Guruville, this is what happens is that you can take, it's like the media. You can take a small amount. You can be one person. And if you have a big platform, you can project it and it comes across as the truth, but it may not be the truth. It may just be the truth for you. It may be the truth for me, but it's not the truth for the market. And so there was a big but to all the specific answers I was given to try to help me get through my doorway of success. And they all gave me a key, but I would open the doors of like what a guru would tell me to do and it would end up leading me to more questions. And there wasn't a place where I could find that was like, okay, here's my biggest question. How do you sustainably grow revenue in an information or an online business? How do you do that? What are the steps that you do from zero to 100, from 100 to 300, from 300 to a million, from a million to 10 million, from 10 to 20? I, I wanted to know, what, what did it look like? How many staff did you have? What did pricing plans look like? And the, all the gurus would tell me their answer, but it was just their answer, and it didn't translate always. And so I went on a quest, and the quest was to find what was actually happening in the online business market. Not what was happening in one place, what was happening in all of it. And so when I think back to the elections, our last election, it was like, you know, we were seeing polls of saying that this is going to happen and, and this person is going to win. And then all of a sudden another person wins. And you're like, what happened? How do we know that? It was because there was a small market, a small person, a small poll that was projecting a big thing through media. The same thing happens on online business, but then the market spoke, the people spoke. Now, this is what we wanted to do is go to you and we want to go to the people and we want to go what's happening, not in gurus, but happening for inside of the audiences of all the gurus. So we went to the market and we've done the largest online study and research that's happening in this industry because guess what? There is no research. People outside of the online business industry don't take it serious. Go try to find real data. You can't. It will lead you to a guru's website. And the guru will tell you their truth, but it's not the market truth. So we wanted to find out what is the truth in the market because what we're ultimately looking for is this, insights for success because we wanted to know and I want to know because I run a company called Gravy. And inside of Gravy, I love the gurus, by the way. I love them. But I'm looking across all of the gurus that we're serving and there's patterns and there's formulas. And the question's like, what is the product mix? And Everybody, if you if, if the guru says you should have a membership site, then you think you should, but should you? Like, does that really drive revenue? Price points, should it be over a hundred bucks a month? Should it be a thousand? Should it be a hot ticket or should it not? What are the product mixes? Does evergreen webinars really work or are they done? Or, or things like, it, it, can you do a free trial and then move them over? All of these questions I wanted to know across a span of thousands and thousands and thousands of people from different markets, different ages, different types of businesses, and that's what we've done. We've found the keys to success, and there's been some things bubble up that no matter what the online business is, is that for, to get from zero to 100,000, you've gotta have this. From 100,000 in revenue to a million, this is exactly who you hire, this is what you do, these are the pricing plans, this is the product mix. And to get beyond 10 million, We've found out, here's the answers. And so we have these insights to success. Now, we want you to join us 
in this. And we would love your, we would love to have you as part of the survey and we'd love you to part of the research because you part of it, you can benchmark where you are to where you need to be. That's why we're doing Gravy Insights. And we look forward to adding value to you and adding value to the market with the actual truth, not just my truth, but the market truth for your business.